so we got a 2020 in we have seen this one on the dyno before it has a power commander in it right now we will be tuning the ecu this time and tuning it for e85 and i'm looking forward to this one because this is the first one it's always fun to do the first one it's uh, always more work though so a few hours from now we'll have some results i'll have the before numbers and the after numbers and some video in the middle all right we got the r1 on the dyno got some first initial changes see where she's at We just did some poles, let you guys see what it'll do.
And that's a good day. That's a good flipping day. So, I know it's a lot of runs and a lot of different horsepower runs, but we got 198 horsepower. And on that particular run, 82 foot-pounds of torque, but I have seen uh, 84 foot-pounds of torque with Ram Air. And uh, that pull right in the middle, the, let's see, uh, single gear, single gear run, 82 foot-pounds of torque, and 189 horsepower. That is regular, comparable, non-Ram Air run Blackwater Power Sports, like, subscribe. Yeah, this is a 2020. These things can make some hellacious power. This is an SC Projects slip on, cat delete. be the last run and um, the non-ram air run before that uh, 189 so close but that's what she's got maybe with a different tire different chain a couple other little minor details um, you know this uh, this bike is um, you know other than tire and um, and exhaust, she's pretty much stock. So, uh, damn good tune, this is what they got in. Uh, that is the SC Project slip-on. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, look for us in the next episode. All right, so we got all the changes up on the graph. This thing came to me with an exhaust on it back uh, almost a year ago now but um let's explain this a bit we got e85 with ram air um we got e85 without ram air uh 84 foot pounds of torque 80 uh almost 80, 80 and a half um and then we got pump gas um with ram air and pound of torque less and then pump gas without ram air and there's our torque um so we make a little bit more power with the 85 this uh not not a huge responder on this particular bike um i usually see a bigger difference on uh on most of these um and then we got uh our before uh tuning 
number that we hit and um, our very, very beginning back when it came with, uh, with the stock tune on it. Um, all the gains, all the differences, some huge gains down at 6,000, gigantic gains up at the, up at the red line. So I'm pleased.